Many of you have called and emailed us about price gouging concerns on things like eggs, meat, and even cleaning supplies. So we looked into it. Inslee Nichols explains what is considered price gouging and how the state plans to handle these complaints. Right now, the state is reviewing hundreds of complaints on price gouging, and most of those complaints are on essential items that we need while staying home during COVID-19. Since Governor Brian Kemp declared a state of emergency, the Consumer Protection Division has received over 700 price gouging complaints. It's going up on something just to profit off of the disaster that's, that's taking place, which in this situation is the pandemics. Kelvin Collins with the Better Business Bureau says his office mostly sees complaints on grocery stores. There's really a, a fine line on what's considered price gouging and what is um, their normal markup from what they are having to pay. According to the Attorney General's office, demand drives prices in our free market economy. However, during a state of emergency, businesses can't sell any goods or services identified by the governor at a higher price than the price they were sold for before the order. Right now, they are reviewing price gouging complaints from across the state on food products like eggs and meat, toilet paper, water, personal protective equipment, disinfectant, and cleaning supplies. When you're uh, selling hand sanitizer that used to go for 99 cents for you know, 15 to 17 dollars. That's that's pretty egregious. Colin says for food products, it may be different. Meat and eggs have gone up right now, and you know the stores are paying more to get that into stock. They're having to pay more for uh, transporting it there. Through this pandemic, the state formed a task force to protect people against fraud. There's fines that range from two thousand dollars to fifteen thousand dollars per per case. And in a press release, Attorney General Chris Carr said, quote, we won't tolerate those who are taking advantage of consumers and interfering with our frontline workers' response to the crisis. In Macon, in Zinnicles, 13 WMAZ News. If you think a business is price gouging or is in violation of Georgia's Fair Business Practices Act, you can report it to the Georgia Department of Law's Consumer Protection Division by visiting consumer.ga.gov.